It may be hard to accept, but nothing lasts forever. Even overwhelmingly distant celestial bodies like stars. That's why astrophysicists keep a close eye on the universe around us, so as to not miss any changes in the vast, ever-expanding cosmos. In recent years, a red supergiant has caught their attention, and now their every move amazes them. Using historical evidence and modern, state-of-the-art telescopes, such as the Hubble Space Telescope, scientists have been able to discover some mind-boggling things about this incredibly bright star. The most puzzling of these findings suggests that something might be going on with it. The spectral Type M12 red supergiant has been named Betelgeuse and is one of the largest stars in the universe in the night sky. Betelgeuse is usually the 10th brightest star, but in the constellation Orion, it is considered the second brightest, the number one being Rigel. It is a semi-regular reddish variable star with an apparent magnitude ranging from 0 to plus 1.6. This is the widest range shown by any first magnitude star at near-infrared wavelengths. If Betelgeuse were at the center of our solar system, its surface would lie beyond the asteroid belt and engulf the orbit of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. According to calculations, Betelgeuse's mass ranges from 10 to just over 20 times that of the Sun. Measuring its distance has been a challenge for astronomers, but their current estimate suggests that it is between 500 and 600 light years from the Sun. This supergiant is less than 10 million years old and has evolved rapidly due to its large mass. A team of astronomers discovered that the star Betelgeuse changed its color from yellow-orange to red about 2,000 years ago. The star is in the red giant star phase, which is common for stellar bodies when they finish burning hydrogen in their cores. This change causes the collapse of the core and the reddening of the outer layers of the star. According to Neil deGrasse Tyson, our sun will pass through this stage of its evolution in about 5 billion years and will swell to a radius close to the orbit of Mars, consuming the inner rocky planets of the solar system, including Earth. Astronomers know that stars change color during their lifetimes. A Chinese court astronomer named Siam Qian wrote about the colors of the stars in 100 BC, and in his notes he describes the colors of the stars. White is like Sirius, red like Antares, yellow like Betelgeuse, and blue like Bellatrix. To this should be added that color changes are also accompanied by variations in brightness and size. These changes can provide significant information about the age and mass of the star. The study of historical documents has helped researchers determine that Betelgeuse passed through this state about 2,000 years ago. This suggests that it is at an advanced stage of its evolution, and it is likely that its life has already ended with a large explosion. Despite being one of the brightest stars in the firmament, Betelgeuse has experienced dimming cycles every 425 days, in which it temporarily loses a quarter of its maximum brightness. However, in February 2020, astronomers noticed that Betelgeuse's brightness unexpectedly decreased by two-thirds enough to be perceived with the naked eye. This unexplained dimming was alarming because it suggested that the star might be about to explode. Neil deGrasse Tyson believes that the supernova explosion will be a mind-blowing spectacle for Earth's inhabitants due to Betelgeuse's proximity to our planets. However, astronomers are actually studying Betelgeuse to understand its behavior and to determine whether it has actually exploded. Some have suggested that the dimming could be the result of a massive eruption on the star's surface, or even a change in its rotation. New data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope have raised suspicions about the unprecedented dimming of the star Betelgeuse. After analyzing data from the HST and other observatories, astronomers have confirmed that the supergiant literally exploded in 2019 and lost a substantial part of its visible surface, thus producing a colossal and injection of surface mass. This is a unique incident that has never been seen in the behavior of a normal star. The Sun routinely ejects parts of its outer atmosphere called the corona, but Betelgeuse actually ejected 400 billion times more mass than a typical coronal mass ejection. According to Andrea Dupree of the Harvard and Smith Massachusetts Center for Astrophysics, Betelgeuse is still doing very unusual things right now. The interior is kind of bouncing around. 
These new observations have provided vital information about how red stars lose mass at the end of their lives, as their nuclear furnaces burn out. The amount of mass lost greatly affects their fates, but Betelgeuse's behavior indicates that the star is about to explode soon or has already exploded. We are observing stellar evolution in real time. The titanic outburst of 2019 produced jolts and pulsations that blew off huge chunks of the photosphere, exposing a large cold surface beneath the dust cloud that produced the cooling of the photospheric chunk. Betelgeuse is currently struggling to recover from this injury. The dust cloud that contributed to the abnormal darkening was also produced by the fractured piece of photosphere that shot out into space. What is even more mysterious is that the 400-day pulsation of the red star has disappeared. At the moment, experts believe it is temporary, but only time will tell. Scientists are excited to know what the Betelgeuse supernova will look like from Earth. A priori, they believe that the Earth will not be damaged, but when the Betelgeuse supernova explodes, it will shine as brightly in our sky as the size of the moon. For more than nine months, all the brightness will be concentrated in one point, so it will look like a beacon in the sky casting shadows at night. It will be hard to miss, and we humans will be able to observe this glow even during the day, at least for a long year. Here's a description of what the Betelgeuse explosion would look like in our skies. Number 1. Initial Phase The explosion would begin with an extremely bright initial flash, possibly much brighter than the full moon. During the first moments, it could be too bright to look directly at, and it would be recommended to use solar filters or eclipse glasses to protect the eyes. Number 2. Constant Brightness After the initial explosion, the supernova would maintain an extremely high luminosity for a period of weeks or months. During this time, it would be visible both day and night, meaning that it could even be seen in the presence of sunlight. Number 3 brightest object in the sky. During its phase of maximum luminosity, the Betelgeuse supernova would be the brightest object in the sky, surpassing any star. It could cast shadows and be visible even in urban areas with significant light pollution. Number 4. Change in the Orion constellation Betelgeuse is a star in the constellation Orion, and its explosion would change the appearance of this iconic constellation. The shoulder of Orion, which includes the Orion Nebula, could look even more impressive with the supernova shining nearby. Number 5. Changing Color Spectrum As the supernova evolves, its color spectrum could change, showing shades of red, orange, and yellow in the early stages, and then fading to cooler colors as it expands and cools. Number 6. Opportunity for Science the observation of the Betelgeuse supernova would be a unique opportunity for astronomers around the world to study in detail a stellar explosion in our galaxy. Extensive research on supernova physics, heavy element formation, and other astronomical phenomena could be carried out. Tell me what you think. Do you think our generation will be able to see this phenomenon in our skies? Use the comment box to interact. Remember to like and subscribe. This way you will be supporting the channel. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you in the next one.